Hello guys and welcome. So in this video I wanted to answer the question, what is Ark Knights? This video is aimed at people who know nothing about Ark Knights but have always been curious. So Ark Knights is a Chinese tower defense mobile gotcha app. It was developed by Hypergriff and is published by Yostar. It came out in January 2020 for iOS and Android. So straight away I'm going to link the um, the download links to it. Yeah, sorry, the game was talking to me. Um, I'm going to link to the download pages uh, below in the description, uh, as well as to as many useful resources as possible. So, what tower defense games are is simply you have a starting point, you have an endpoint, and you have to protect the endpoint. Simple as that. And do whatever you can to um to stop things getting there now in this game you have your characters your your squad basically and your squad have got different sorts of skills so some of them are tanks some of them are ranged um magic users aoe range with bow and arrow things like that but the um as you go along you'll find better and better characters and so on but it's not like for example raid shadow legends or anything where there's like hundreds of different characters there's only the select few and but all you can do is get better versions of them and but as time goes on you can see you can have up to you can assign four squads you you will find um as you go along better groups for different situations and so on you have to refine it as you go along and you'll be able to recruit rarer and rarer um people to your team now, what gacha means is a structure for Japanese games where it's it's like the easiest way to describe it. It's like um, you remember those sort of um, pinball machines where you put in a coin, turn it, and then you get out another little figurine. So if I show an example figurine like 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 this, for example, you know what I mean? Um, and you keep putting in coins until you get the whole set, essentially. That is the idea behind Gacha Games, is that um, you essentially have to keep re-rolling um, until you get what you want. Now, you can recruit. So recruitment is a free version. You can say basically how long you want to recruit for and um, what rarity you want and so on. Um, but as you can see, so the amount of time affects the sort of rarities that can come along. But with all these games, you can imagine that there is currency in the game and you can use the currency to have increased odds of getting better items. But for this game, it is not required. You can play the game completely for free, never spend a penny and still be able to get through pretty much all of it. So it's just a case of if you get really far into the game, if you want to be able to get like the perfect squad if you become like really really um into the game so let me show you how it works so basically you have the different missions that you you do along so i've only done the first few um and then along the way you have an in-game tutorial the in-game tutorial is actually really good so i'm not gonna this is not an advanced tutorial not by any means uh but it will cover the basics of what the different characters do, um, what it would recommend in different situations. Um, there's always ever increasing difficulty mobs that are thrown at you. Some of them have high defense, some of them are really quick, some of them are only flying. So you have to be prepared in all the different situations. So if we go into the first um, mission, so now there is a resource, you have a stamina which limits how much you can play per day, but since I've started the game, I've never run out of stamina ever. But what I've been told is, is that later on, you can have... Um, when you finish a mission and you want to farm a mission to get, let's say, a new character or whatever, you know that a certain character drops from a certain mission, you can auto-deploy and redo that mission um, if you've already got three stars in it previously. So if I start the mission... Now, the game itself has got a really interesting story mode. So um, between missions, you can see there's voice acting, which it was surprising really for me to see. And also as well, it really goes out this way to explain what it's doing. Now you have this uh, score right here below my camera. 
which effectively is the amount of deploy points you need to actually put your people on the onto the map. So you can see how much each person costs, but this is always going up. Now, the idea is the monsters will come from the red and they will go towards the blue. But you need to do whatever you can to defend the blue. What I like to do is I like to put a tank there so that they can't get towards the end. And then I do whatever I can to defend. There is a limit of how many um, people you can put on the screen at any one time. And there's also a limit of how many uh, people, how many enemies the tanks can actually defend against. So, um, like, it, it's not just going to be a roadblock constantly, like, for every single person coming. Like, it, you do need to consider um, how you do things. You can also have a healer class as well. So, if I just heal my tank, I, like, it's almost like a dedicated healer then chances are I won't get in any any trouble. Now obviously, at, in early game, um, it's quite simple, but um, it does get a lot, lot harder later on. There is weekly content in the game called Raids, so um, which will allow you to get a lot of the in-game currency, which you need if you want to, again, recruit better and better people to your squad. So let me recruit. So you see, you put the people down, and then you also show which direction you want them to come in as well. So I'm, I'm doing my best here to, to do it. Now, of course, if you're fairly confident with your setup, you can see how many enemies are coming. So it's, we've already done um, about to do 15 out of 37. If you're confident with your setup, you can just speed up time. Like you don't have to sit through all of this like slowly. As we can see, there's now three of them coming. So, and different mobs have got different um, they have diff different priorities. Now, you can see this symbol above the head. That means that a special ability is ready, which means that at any time I could actually choose to trigger that special ability. But as you can see, it's becoming more and more intense. So I guess this is a good level to show. And as you saw, some enemies are just slipping through the cracks straight away. So I might end up actually failing the mission because so many got through. So obviously you might want to repeat to make sure you do this um, without anyone getting through really. Uh, I mean that's that's really what you want to do. So what I really should have done is what I'll reflect for next time is I have multiple layers of defense just in case some slip through the first crack uh, to make sure that they don't slip through again towards the end. So that's basically it. That's the idea of this game. Power defense game. We are going through as much as we can. What you can also do as well when it comes to the cutscenes, you can watch them, you can read them and so on. If you don't want to keep clicking each time the text is finished, you can always click on auto and it will automatically go through them. So the story is quite interesting um, if you want to see what's going on. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to actually go through the... Um, official website. So, as we see, I got a new character. So, obviously, there is um, benefits and obviously finishing the missions as, as to be expected. Now, the good thing about this game, like I said, is completely free to play. You can do everything as you need to do. There's a lot of in-game tutorials. So at, at the beginning, I've, I've been told that the game is quite slow and it, it can be quite tough but by the time you get used to it get your head around all the dynamics and so on then it becomes really really easy so okay so what we're now going to do for the sake of it we're going to go through the um, official website quickly and as per always with this what is series i'm going to link as many useful resources in the description down below so okay, let's switch over now okay so this is the official website Right, so I will obviously include these links as well to download an iOS or a Google Play Store. So uh, there is a fan-made video contest, which I am going to be entering with this video. <laughs> um, so it's a good website. I like it. So you can go through each of the different characters. It gives you like a brief introduction into them. And um, also as well, 
you it really gives you like the game does a really good job essentially of um, showing you what you need to to consider and so on and also just gives you an introduction into the world essentially like what world is this like what what are the characters what's the point what's the story what are we trying to achieve so it's it's one of the better presented apps that i've ever seen um i'm also going to link as well in the description um a link describing what gacha games are in case you've been curious because it's one of pretty much the most popular model of apps um in japan at the moment so it's it's nice to just broaden your horizons and increase your understanding about these things so as i said i'm going to link to um, the ios download link to the google play download link and also as well i'm going to link to their official youtube channel because they have a, a official youtube channel and it's quite interesting i like it it's just you know it gives you a story behind the voices of each of the characters animations for the intro of the story and things like that so um they have really really worked hard to make sure that this is an all-inclusive um app you know it's, it's not just some random app cash grab like a lot of other ones that we've seen like you can see that they're taking this very very seriously which is good i i appreciate the um the effort so anyway guys i could talk about this game all day i've been having lots of lots of fun with it i am going to play it more and more um so yeah so anyway guys that's it for this video if you liked it be sure to give it a thumbs up you can watch a random video over there you can watch the latest upload down there or you can click down here to subscribe thank you guys bye bye